Uh, one of the low points probably in your career at Celtic was the Dyax game where I think you done was it your your knee or your hand? Your quad, done, your quad that you done again and you walked off the pitch. I know you got a bit of abuse for that. You wanna explain it wanna explain yourself? <laughs> Sam Ray, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I done my done my, my quad the first game of the season away at Aberdeen and I done it about eighty six minutes or something and I, I just played on and we were on the attacks. So I was a few long balls, few few sprints I did they uh-huh. so I probably made it worse mm-hmm. which is an extra four weeks a grade one to grade two is an extra four weeks out do you know uh-huh. what I mean so I've come back after being out for however long and eight weeks or something back on and uh, I, I told the manager 20 minutes is working here today like I was trying to build it up to, uh-huh. to be able to play nine again so 20 is like oh so she's right 25 to go and he's like you ready and I was like you're not going to say no I'm not going on you uh-huh. so I was like right aye and uh, I was quite strict in the way I wanted it to be, to be 20 because the way I'd re-injured myself, it had to be, had to be right. But anyway, I go on, end to end game, and it goes again. And I'm like, and I just at the time, it was me sprinting back, and they've scored, uh-huh. and it's went. So I'm like, oh, this is went again. So I says, I think it was one of the boys, I said, you need to sit in for me here, my quads went. And then I started to think back, right, I don't know if it's, uh, I know it's gone, but I don't know how bad it is. I, I don't want to make it any worse. So I just went off. I just, uh, I just went. No, in fact, I need to go off here. So I just yeah. walked off the park. But I couldn't believe the reaction for yeah. an Instagram at the time. I remember it, mate. Seeing your Instagram, and yeah. people were going mad, saying you just, uh, it just, they just made me realise that they don't, they, they didn't have a clue what I was like as a person. Do you know what yeah. I mean? They just thought I've said, oh, it's weird two one doing. I'm not playing anymore. It's my ball. I'm away. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But it wasn't like that at all. Do you know what I mean? It was. It was, I was thinking, I need to get off here, I can't make this any worse. Uh-huh. And uh, that was it, really. Is that the hard point about being a centre player when it is bad? The Aye, everything's, the scrutiny on ah, your head. everything's, it? everything's magnified. Um, it's good when you're doing well, do you know what I mean? Uh-huh. And everything's going well, but there comes a time, there come, there's, there's things like that situation there, or when you don't get a result and it's 100 percent, 100 mile an hour on you. Uh-huh. And it's... It's part of being itself, it's part of being a big club. If you want to play a big club, then that's what comes with it. So is it hard to handle for her? It is, aye. Uh-huh. You get used to it, but it is, uh, it's, it's no easy. Uh-huh. Uh, but it makes the good times even better. Yeah, so uh-huh. so it's, it's part and parcel of being at a big club, do you know what I mean? Uh-huh. So um, how would you look back on your set of career as a whole? Both times? I look back and Very look back with good memories, aye. <laughs> 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 uh, it's great times, man. Great times uh-huh. being being back in Glasgow where where I was brought up and, and playing for the, the team I supported. So yeah, boys getting to watch you play for Celtic. Aye, boy, yeah. massive. Um, my boys now are still massive Celtic fans and, uh-huh. and and we still cheer Celtic on to win games. And when we look back, it's, it's a proud moment. It's something I'll never forget. My full my full uncles and my my mates not Celtic fans. So Let's talk about it for years. Aye, uh-huh. talk about it for years. It, it, it was great times and it's great to see them doing doing well now again. It's it's uh, it's brilliant. It's probably look back and it's, it's a proud feeling I get that, uh-huh. that I managed to play for the boyhood. And it was a and successful time for the club as well. Aye, aye. Uh-huh. aye. We, um, it was successful. The, what they're doing right now, right enough, is is making a lot of nothing because they're uh-huh. absolutely uh-huh. flying. Uh-huh. But um, at the time, it was, it was huge success. Winning, getting to the last, winning the league like five times and getting to the last sixteen of the Champions League and. And big Rangers games and big Champions League nights and it's great, uh-huh. great times. Um, it's a massive club and and, uh, and proud to, to proud to have played for. And I think Amos is getting the players' lounge tickets as well. Mate. Can't believe you've come, does not So then be told it's first time. You need to wear a suit and tie. <laughs> Me and my <laughs> father-in-law put up to the players' lounge with suit and ties on that. Thanks, Lee Griffiths. Is you the cravat on <laughs> His dad's standing in Sambas and holy jeans, mate, and I've got the suit. <laughs> Killed us, man. Uh, obviously, you're at Blackburn now, mate. Um, how, how are you enjoying it down here? I'm loving the change. Um, the results haven't been as they expected, and it's been, been a bit hard that way, but um, I'm enjoying the change, as I said. I'm, I'm enjoying being, being down here and, and playing at this level again. It's, it's, uh, it's a good change. How did you find the championship? Hard? Ah, it's hard. Ah, it's it's a lot of games, mate. A lot of good players, uh-huh. a lot of games. Um, is, it but quite no direct? Mere, is it quite direct? It can be, aye, it uh-huh. can be. But now, now there's, there's a lot of teams playing. There's like Huddersfield, Fulham and that are proper. Passing it. Aye, uh-huh. proper passing it. So 
it's different games. It's, it's, it's good challengers, big players down here, good players. That, that, that it's, uh, every team's got like a good three or four players uh-huh. that, 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 that it's good to be up against and I'm enjoying it. What about, um, what about after football then? What are you thinking? Obviously not, nothing to do with Colbert or your band itself. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking of well, the manager? I want to get into coaching, I want to be a manager. I, I four, four, two. <laughs> <laughs> four, six. <laughs> so what, are you doing the B licence and the, the A licence? Or not? You... I'm doing my B licence this summer, aye. Good. I'm going away up to uh, Edinburgh this summer for eight days to date. So what, kind of, what kind of manager do you think you'll be? Suit, so, innit? Suit, so, like, so, In the stand with the earpiece. Yeah. <laughs> All the gadgets. He'll be on the other end of the... Earpiece. Load the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Billy McStay. <laughs> My assistant. I'll get you that it's, uh, Champions League music CD, mate. Get um, me the hat. So the manager in Twitter, fancy it? Oh, definitely, aye. Straight in it as soon as you finish or a wee bit of TV or...? I don't know. I don't know. I'll get my, get my B license and see what happens. Like aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> what would you, would you hopefully one day want to manage Celtic? Like? Would that be the, the next...? Target. You, you never know, do you? You never, you never say never, but I mean, who knows? I want, I, want, I want to be a manager, so we'll see what happens. It's a long way away. I still, still want to play for as long as I can, do you know what I mean? You're talking here and I'm retiring tomorrow. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, 30s. <laughs> 30s tops. <laughs>